Hola, welcome once again to Farado's Back Porch, RiverWashRadio.com. How coming to you out of the video store, 824 East Center Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This, I believe, is June 16th, approximately 10.09 in the evening, Central Standard Time. We do this every Saturday from 10 to 11. Come and just sit on the back porch and visit a little while. So I'll just get me, give me a little bit of time here to get, get all organized and we'll get right at it and we'll see what happens. As many of you know, I am Friar Otto of Herzebowitz's Klein Akirsha. Rather small order. And of course now that Herzebowitz is more powerful in spirit than he ever hoped to be in the flesh, I am left to continue on in this plane the work we commenced. Well, the work we, we continued, I should say. Before we broke no new ground in the spiritual realm, so to speak, but just kept tilling the old, uh, the old familiar fields, you know, and uh, kind of keeping them well, well fertilized with our own particular form of BS, you know. Nothing like a good, good natural product for uh, fertilizing your soil. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'll start with this. I don't know why I'm even doing this. So, we'll start and see what happens. Music minister over. I still am the music minister over there at Harris Abowitz's Klein Akirsha. I hold regular services at the Bremen Cafe on Thursday evenings. Thank you. 
Yeah, our work was mainly, of course, simply bearing witness to spirit, as many have done before us and many will do after us. And of course, being the music minister over there, here's Eva with his kind of Kirsha. I didn't have too much to do with the words. So we developed a kind of curious form of chant for here's Eva, which you know, you want to make the big time, make a name for yourself in that, in that field, you know, you've got to have something. We figured if Gregory Benedict could have their their chance. Well, I why well, couldn't hear Zabowitz? Boom 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 boom. Here's Zabowitz. Here's Zabowitz and chance. Boom boom ba boom ba ba. Boom ba ba ba. Boom ba ba doom ba. Boom ba 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 da ba doom ba. Boom ba da ba dee ba doom ba. Boom ba da ba dee ba. Boom ba dee ba doom ba doom ba. Boom ba ba boom ba dee dee ba.
Well, sometimes I just got into playing, you know, and don't do too much with the words. Never know what you're gonna get every night being different. Back porch at the riverwestradio.com. Friar Otto's back porch at riverwestradio.com. So, what kind of movie are you looking for tonight? I was thinking about a horror film. How classic. Oh, oh that's, that's classic. Oh, I'm talking like uh, Bella Lugosi and uh, oh, Lon Chaney. Well, <laughs> that's yeah, what I call them. That, that's why I asked that question. Exactly. Yeah, I call that, that, that other stuff the new, new stuff, new wave. music to life. Largely ignored. But why should I feel sad about that? So many folks ignore spirit to begin with. I, sh I know that I was in good company when I was being ignored.
And I wonder who's listening out there and what they're doing. It'd be interesting to know. <laughs> Of that one for the moment. Call it what you may, I don't even have a name for that one yet. I wonder if I ever will. Sometimes I just, I just do what I do and I just call it the day that it is, I think. So pardon me while I get a little bit comfortable here. It's a kind of a hot, steamy night here in, uh, in Milwaukee. So every Saturday night, come on down here and do this thing. Anybody out there feels like stopping on by some Saturday night, please come on by, visit. Player or not, you can come on by and see what's going on. Invite you over to Friar Otto's back porch. Some folks might want to talk about politics. I can do a little bit of that. Why well, I believe that we should go to a uh, regular uh, pure, de pure democracy. That we should have binding national referendums through electronic balloting. The miracle of the electronic age can br finally bring us democracy where the people have the final say, the final say about what laws and procedures are coming out of Washington, D.C. and whether we care to submit to uh, uh, these procedures and laws they are uh, uh, putting upon us. They say according to our, to our will. Well, if such be the case, why not put it to the will of the people and see for sure? Let's have binding referendums on everything, whether the country goes to war or not. What the budget for this, that, or the other thing shall be. Who gets foreign aid? Who gets how much? Who gets bombed? Who does not get bombed? Who gets welfare? Who does not? Who gets Medicaid? Who does not? Let's leave this all up to the people. Wouldn't it be interesting to see how things would go? Oh, these guys in Washington could still keep on doing their, their thing, of course, and the lobbyists could be plying them with their money and buying their votes. That's why democracy, as we have here, does not really work, you know. Our forefathers saw this when they put the Constitution together, and uh, they're not rolling in their graves wondering why we're putting up with the mess here in Washington, but uh, they're saying, well, 
you know, we had the we had the guts to go up against the uh, the uh, the superpower of the day, the English Empire. Little American colonies decided they wanted their independence. Do you know what the English thought of the American independence people? I think they labeled them as terrorists. Isn't that kind of funny? The guys that did the, uh, did the uh, Boston Tea Party, we, we in our history books are told they're American heroes. Yet perhaps to the English, they were terrorists. Oh, well. Oh, of course, go right ahead. And so uh, I think that we could clean things up quite a bit. Just think what, how influential would lobbyists be if we went to national referendums? Could our representatives be bought off at such a routine basis? I mean, somebody once made the point to me in a conversation while I was working on their trees. That's what I do for, for a living. If you need a good tree guy, give me a call. I can help you out. If I can't do it, I know who can. So with binding referendums, the will of the people could finally be known. I mean, our forefathers couldn't do that with the way they set the government up because they had no idea that there would be this electronic uh, age coming upon us. But with the miracle of the electronic age, uh, perhaps our government could be revolutionized. I know I should keep my big mouth shut. I'm treading on thin ice. The big boys can really make trouble for me if they want to, I know. Like my, like my grandmother said, don't discuss politics or religion with friends. So let's get zeroed in with this. See what's going to happen with this little thing. Oh, it's not quite right yet. I got to get my sound just right here. You know, I'm kind of like a cat. I got to have the sound. Or just ain't right. something that is just not quite right yet. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a little better. talk about trees we can talk about trees I'm able to talk about trees in this neck of the woods seeing as I've worked with them and been around them on a daily basis for 40 years
And don't ever ask me about my ideas about the welfare system and welfare reform because it would make a lot of people awfully mad. And they would probably try to make life miserable for me in their anger. So I better not talk about welfare reform or the reform I feel is necessary for public education at all levels, even up to the university of, at the state level. After all, my big brother, he kept his nose out of politics as much as he could. Of course, he stuck his nose in a different kind of a beehive, didn't he? I do think that I could say that I thought this was supposed to be a country where the, the, the governed were only governed by their consent, by the consent of the governed.
I should tell him the one about the drunk state representative or not in the taxi cab. They would say I was lying and it was libel and slander. I guess Will Rogers, didn't he make a name for himself by poking fun at Washington? Gotta remember, you can't take crazy old Friar Otto too seriously. Sometimes the only one that can tell the truth is the court jester. Well, I'm just kind of mulling over what I feel like, uh, what's going to come up next, you know. Here in Friar Otto's back porch, you know, it's just kind of like sitting around the house, except I'm somewhere else. Can't do exactly what I'd be doing if I were sitting around the house, but close enough, I guess. <laughs> close enough. What shall we do? Oh, that one there, what's that one? Hmm. Oh, it's so difficult sometimes. All right, this is what it's going to be. When I get it zeroed in. This one here be trimming in the vineyard, pruning in the vineyard. Why, our big brother, he did tell us that one day our father, he's going to be coming through the vineyard. And at one time he did tell us we were the branches, he was the vine, of course. And so you've seen us here, Zabowitz and I are tree tripping folk. We know what all goes on when someone goes through the vineyard and they're trimming. Why, our father, he's going to be coming down through them rows, hedgerows of grapes and grape vines. Right, and he's going to be trimming out the dead, the dying, and the unproductive branches. Well, here's a Boots' plan of cure. We always had to have a warning at every service. If you get, no matter what faith you got, all faiths were tolerated there. And here's a Boots' plan of cure. Show. Though we were pretty much established in the vernacular of the Judeo-Christian tradition. Thank you. 
Of course, our dear brother, he was speaking in spiritual terms. So we always just would toss that out as a warning, you know, and you do with it what you want. It's your life, you can, you got your free will, of course. Everybody does. But I can assure you, I don't know, maybe it was just a dream, but I can tell you about a time sometime. If you stop in at the Bremen Cafe and sit down with me at my table, I'll tell you about the time when I did make an appearance in the halls of justice for a few moments while my life was in the balance. Then they sent me back, I don't know what for. Sometimes I wonder why I even wanted to come back, but but I guess at that moment when I made when I told them, when they asked me why, what reason I had, there was only one thing I could think of why I wanted to come back. Or why I should come back, I guess. Not that I wanted to come back. I guess I felt I should. So if you stop on in the Bremen Cafe Thursday evenings, I'll, I'll fill you in on the details of that. of justice you got to remember that they read you like a book they know everything that you ever done and they know what was in your heart when you done it and there's no lying you can't you can't make up excuses but they don't work there so just remember that you've been warned and you may run you may forget you may sit, be in those halls of justice and you may say, but, but.
but I wasn't warned. It's not my fault. I'm from America. I'm not responsible for nothing. Nobody told me. Oh, please. Please, nobody told me. And I'd say, what? Nobody told you? And you'd say, no. Why, they'll say, remember, June 16th? Approximately 10.54 in the evening, Central Standard Time, 8.24 East Center Street. You know what? What are you talking about? 8.24 East Center Street. Say, riverwestradio.com? Riverwestradio.com? You mean that... That little, that little internet station? And they'll say, Friar Otto? And you'll say, oh. And they'll say, yeah. So remember, you've been warned. Because you gotta remember that dear old dad, once he trims off the dead and unproductive vines, he ain't keeping them around and rebuilding them. He's disposing of them, throwing them into the fire, and they will be as if they had never been. If you believe that kind of thing. got a few minutes here. Wonder if we can run over time. Hmm. Which one do I feel like I do? So many good ones.
shall we do after hours with Friar Otto? Yeah. Back porch. It's never great. It's never great. Unless you know it. Unless you're really good. I know you're good. I'm... Hmm. It's on the radio. It's on the TV over there. Ah, right. Yeah. Because you can do it. For 25 bucks, they have a little bit of it. Uh-huh. So I have $300. For $300, you can send her a $20 piece. be back here right now for all we know well some say he may not be coming himself his his brother may come yeah he may not be he may still be on the way Faith alive, living faith. those Ten Commandments, or are they just the Ten Suggestions? Would it be a gas if they really applied? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, because our dear old brother, he did always say, we were aging and we're we're working for something that can be won or lost. What profiteth a man if he gain the world, yet loseth his soul? Keep on, keep on, keep on, 
keeping the faith. Ah, uh, keep on, keep on, keep on keeping the faith. Ah, uh, keep on, keep on, keep on keeping the faith. I come too far, I can't turn back. I can, I only can keep going on. Nah, 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 nah. Maybe there is no end, of course. Well, of course there is no end. It's just continuous, always. Continuous growth, I guess. Just go on and on and on and on and on. Ah, keep on, keep on, keep on. Oh, did I chase that rainbow down a one-way street, that engine? Oh, no. I don't know if any of my friends are insurance salesmen. Hey John, are we superstars? All superstars shining on and 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 on. Are we just dust in the wind? Kansas dust in the wind. Or Steve, are we stardust? Are we golden? Mother Teresa, I know your moments of doubt. Oh, yeah. The agony and the ecstasy, huh? Shut her down for this evening, folks. Riverwestradio.com. Friar Otto's back porch coming at you. Saturday nights, 10 to 11. Feel free to stop on by or catch me over at the Bremen Cafe Thursday evenings. Usually I don't get there till about 10, 10 30, but I get there. So if you want to sit down and talk with Friar Otto, you're certainly welcome to do so. As long as you ain't a panhandler. If you're a panhandler, I'll give you what for. And set you straight. Bye.